What's going on guys? Today is Friday, it's about 12 o'clock. I actually got rained out today at nine and uh, decided to go take the rest of the day to do some 6010. One of my friends told me he had trouble doing 6010. He just got his uh, machine like uh, maybe two weeks ago. He's usually a single hand welder, but he's trying to break off into being a rig welder. So yeah, he said he's having trouble. So I'm gonna head over there to his house. I'm gonna shoot this welding video for y'all. I'm mostly known for welding videos on this channel. And I know I haven't posted a lot, but I'll go back into uh, posting these welding videos. So I'm gonna go to his house. Uh, this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna let him do his thing. I'm gonna let him do his thing. And I'm gonna stop him every time I see that he's doing something wrong. And I'm gonna tell you why I shouldn't do that. So hopefully after this video, I'm able to help him out and I'm able to help you out. So I'm about to head to South Houston right now. So I'll see y'all over there. This is his rig right here. Got to my homeboy Spike. Got that high country looking real nice. And like I say, he just got his machine. That's a red face SA200. I got a bad black face. If, I, if you're looking for a machine, I suggest going red face. But uh, but I love my black face. Uh, I love it. Uh, shout out to my boy George for selling this to me. So I got to his house. This is the first mistake I seen that he's doing. He's doing 6010. with this brand right here uh, as you can see E6010 now if you're just learning how to weld 6010 just go ahead and get the Lincoln 5P plus do not get those cheap rods you're a welder you deserve the highest quality of rods out there and that will be Lincoln 5P plus and make sure you get the 5P plus because they have other kinds too and though those rods will do you good these rods right here are meant for roots and you'll have a lot of trouble putting the root in there so uh go ahead and get those uh one good tip is to always clean it If you put your pinky and it cuts you, that means you need to clean the inside. And you need to take all that uh, metal off whenever you do the uh, landing on here. And you know how I like it, a uh, 332 landing on here. And uh, this is going to be our spacer right here to use, which is a saw blade. And that's all you really need. Once you tape it up, this is what you want your coupon to look like. Nice feather tack and a nice gap even all the way around. I personally like to use a saw blade for anything from six, six inch on smaller. And whenever I go to like eight inch, I prefer to use a 332 gap. But a saw blade would do it for, for that's my personal opinion. I'd rather a saw blade for a six inch on down. This was his mistake number three. The rod of the angle is too inclined to the bottom. Whenever you have it too much inclined to the bottom, that will cause you to have way too much heat and it will make you get a really big keyhole. Then your root's gonna fall down. So whenever you're doing your bead, if you find that your keyhole is way too big and it's opening too much, you need to check the angle of the rod. Your rod's supposed to be inclined more to the top, especially when you do your 12 o'clock needs to be kind of on top you see how he has this you basically just digging into the bevel and opening that keyhole up Big bang or your ride. Pick it up a little higher. Stop. Oh, stop. Your, your keyhole was too big because you had the ride like this, not like this. You know, you're digging into it, you, you gotta have it more of an angle. Go like this. Yeah, that's why your, your keyhole got too big. Hey, 
There you go. Keep pushing it in, push it in, push it in. There you go, keep pushing it. There you go. Just like that. There you go. And these are some of my top three mistakes that beginners make whenever they try to learn 6010 by themselves. It seems like it's not a major mistake, but it actually makes a lot of a difference. As you can see, my homeboy was able to get a little bit more of the 6010. He was able to do some nice routes. He still needs some work, but that's going to come with the practice. But if you're trying to learn 6010, I suggest just to get the professional help. It will make you learn it much faster. It will be much quicker. They have plenty of schools uh, around. If you're in Houston, Houston has plenty of schools. And I'm sure they got people who will do one-on-one -on -one with you. I'm trying to work something out right now to do one-on-one -on -one with my followers or my subscribers on YouTube to get together. I know I said that before. It's just my job schedule right now is really crazy. But I'm trying to work on getting some people together and teaching y'all a thing or two. As of today, uh, I think my homeboy has it almost all the way down with the 6010. So you just need somebody to help you. That will be the fastest way for you to learn on how to um, do the 6010 and move on. Is always to get the professional help. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I was able to teach you something. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, negative, positive, whatever it is, or you think I need to improve on something else, let me know. Hit, hit, hit the comment section. And also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.